Hi, it's Chester Tuckwell at Blue Pecan Computer Training and in this Excel video tutorial we're going to look at how to create progress circles. So the scenario here is we've got uh, some KPIs that we're measuring performance against and those could be whatever you like. Uh, I've just labelled them as such generically. And then we've got our responder, customer one, customer two, et cetera, et cetera. And as we fill in these details here, uh, average calculation up here works out the average. And then second line works out how far under the maximum value these KPI averages are. So, for example, if I change this to 100, then obviously I get a lot less fill in these progress circles. Let's just change it back to 50 here. So what will happen is, is as we gather the data over time, if I put customer two in, so let's say I put 38 in there, then it automatically recalculates. So that was 45 and that was 18. Um, it'll automatically recalculate uh, these calculations up here and therefore update these little charts here. So that's what we're gonna try and achieve. During this video, I'm going to start a new sheet. We'll create all this data and all these tables for you and also show you how to create the charts. So I'll create a new sheet. I'd call this KPI2. And what we'll do is we'll just copy some of this just to save a little bit of time over to the new sheet. If I just zoom in, so you can see a little bit better. I'm actually going to get rid of the grid lines. So if I go to view, untick grid lines, I always think that looks a bit better. Expand some of the columns. It's probably too narrow. Okay, then what we're going to do is create this little table here. It is actually an Excel table. So um, if I put responder there, uh, KPI one, I'm going to copy that across the other columns. And then what I'll do is I click into any of those cells, control T, my table has headers, and that creates the table for me. And I'll put in my first responder, customer one. And I'll randomly put in some numbers. So this is the scores out of 50, but it could be out of whatever you like. Okay, so this data up here, I'll just delete this. I'll show you how I created those. Um, the average is essentially going to be the average of what's ever is ever ever is typed into this column. Um, I'm actually going to put two records in because I think it's easier. Two records. Let's put 48. It's just easier to tell Excel that you want to find the average of the column. If I've got two records, just to begin with, you can always delete those later. And I'm actually going to give the table a name before I create those formulas. So if I go up to table design up here, I'm going to call this uh, KPI results. I can't have a space in the name. Should know that by now. KPI results. So I just use an underscore up there. Place of a space. So um, average calculation here. And you can see there that syntax there is the name of the table and then the name of the column. And then I can copy that across for the other for the other KPIs. And then under max, that's literally the difference between the max score and the KPI average. And the reason why that hasn't worked, as I'm sure you know, is they needed to fix that reference F for it. Copy across and then I get my under max calculation. So this, this data up here is what the charts are going to be based on. As I add new records here, 
this data will automatically update. So these are just dummy records at this point. Uh, we can delete them once we've created these calculations up here. Uh, but we are essentially ready to go to create the actual little progress charts. Let's create the first chart. We'll do that for KPI 1. And all I do is select those three cells there. That will form the chart title. And these two are the two bits of data that we're going to show in the chart. Go up to Insert. Then I'll go to the little pie button and I'll choose Donut. So the orange bit represents the under max value. And the blue bit represents the average value. Now there's a few things here. I don't need to show this legend. So I can get rid of that. Now, if I double click anywhere in the chart, I can change the hole size, for example. You can make the hole smaller or bigger. So stick in at about 70%, that seems to be about right. Now I need to format everything here. So if I click once here, then go up to home. And I want to get rid of the borders. So rather than go to home just at the moment, let's go up to format here, shape outline, no outline. So that gets rid of the outline on any of the charts. Sort of at the end, you see them at most. I'm um, do that, sort of getting rid of that white area there. And now I want to change some color. So I'm happy with this being blue, but really I want that to be gray. So, selected it you'll notice that if you click once on a chart it's not terribly clear with this but if i just click once on the chart and change the color you'd see they'll all end up the same color both parts of the circle so what i do is i click in the chart once and then click on the area that i want to change as a second click then i can go up here and choose like a gray color and it just formats that Okay, now what I want to do is I want to show the average score in here out of 50. So a neat way to do that would be to uh, select the chart, insert, text box, and just put a little text box in here. Select the text box, go up to the formula bar, type equals, and then click in that value there. So I can change the font size of that. Just increase it there. Maybe make it bold. Change the color. Center it. I think I'll make it a little bit bigger. Okay. Now, obviously, whatever you, if I was to increase the decimal places here, then it would try and show the decimal places here. So I'm, I'm going to keep these as no decimal places. It's just a simple chart. I don't need to show an incredible level, level of accuracy here. But there we are. So the average score is 47 for the KPI 1. So, for example, if I was to change these figures, let me take that down to 23. This would go down to 34, and so would the chart update. If I add another customer, because this is in a table, it'll automatically pick up the new number. So let's say I've got 30 for that. It goes to 33. Okay, so you might want to decide on the size that you want this. A good way to define the size is up here. If you go to format, I'm going to make it square. I'm going to say 7 by 7 centimeters. So I've got that. So this is exactly... Ah, that's too small now. See the number. Let's just increase the size of that. Okay. So I can use this. I can basically copy this to create the other charts. So if I select it, hold down control and drag it. Now what I can do is, making sure I've got this new one selected, just drag 
you see you've got little borders around the data that the chart's currently using. Let's drag it over here. So it's now KPI 2. And for some unknown reason, goodness knows why it does this, it loses the format that you've applied. So I'm going to click once into there. I'm going to take the borders off again, because I don't want the borders. Uh, that wants to be grey. And on this occasion, we're going to make this green just to make it stand out as a different chart, different KPI, and that also can be green. Have that as the same colour. Now this is picking up the a wrong cell reference. If I look up here, I'm still looking in B2, so I need, just need to change that to C. And then I'll pick up the 41, and again I lose the formatting. Now you can actually use the Format Painter for this. So if I click into that Format Painter, click on that, and then just change it to green, I'm done. So let's just do a third one. It may help you to remember. Um, I'm going to actually put it down here for the moment. We're running out of space. So if you remember, the first thing you do is drag that over. Then annoyingly you lose your format. So go to format, get rid of the outline. You don't have to get rid of the outline. It's just my preference. Um, you're then going to change this to grey. So click on the orange part, change that to grey. See, I had it all selected. So this is tricky. So click on that. Then it's grey. And then I can change the colour of this. We'll go for an orange. But this, then we need to change the source for this. So this will be column D up here. It's the number in the middle. Then you can use the Format Painter to get the font size right. And then you need to change the colour to that orange. Wrong chart. Change the colour to orange. And you're there. So if I start adding some more numbers, so I've got perfect 50 here. You can see it automatically updates the charts for me. And if I add a new number, a new customer, uh, so 49, 10, dreadful score, 25. It should end up updating all of these figures. Okay, that's all I wanted to cover in this Excel video tutorial. Thanks very much for listening. Hopefully you found it useful. And goodbye till the next video.